What screams, I'm not a good person. People who aren't able to be excited for you when you succeed. No matter how small the success. They always see other people's success as a threat to their own worth. Then, they'll get upset if you don't celebrate for them. I had a best friend in HS now an ex-BFF who yelled at me that I didn't deserve to get a flute solo in our marching band show because I was drum major. Believe me, I didn't want it, ask for it I have bad anxiety. Anyways, what makes it worse was that she had a major solo the whole ballad one year every single year. She just didn't know how to celebrate anyone but herself. Ever mentioning survival of the fittest as an excuse for being a m Edit. I meant in a serious. Actually believes it way. I think it's perfectly okay to joke about Darwin Awards and stuff. This triggers me to no end because fittest doesn't always mean strength. Being a good person would mean they're fit to pass on their qualities to the next generation. Just goes to show how much they listened in school. Never paying debts. Even small ones. If you borrow money, even a dollar, with the promise to pay back, do so. The best ones are the ones where you ask for your money back and they're all damn seriously you're asking me for those five dollars back. It's just five dollars. Yeah it is yet here you were a couple of weeks ago desperately asking for just five dollars. Someone told me before it's just forty bucks you have money man I wanted to beat the shit out of them. <laughs> Leaving your shopping cart in a parking space laughing at making fun of other people's interests and hobbies this is a big one for me everyone likes their own stuff why do people feel the need to belittle other people's interests it doesn't do anything but make you look like a jerk i have former friends who did this all the time they were then perplexed when i stopped calling to hang out someone who goes out of their way to insult criticize anyone or for the smallest mistake or inconsistency littering Went on a first date with a girl. We just finished playing laser tag. Got blizzards from DQ. And when she's done she just throws it out the window. Instant deal breaker. Why do people do this? I just don't understand. Should have pulled over and kicked her out but then you'd be no different than her. When a person thrives and builds a community off of the insecurities of others. E. G. By picking on somebody and playing it off as a joke continuously. Or constantly bringing up how lonely po people would be without them. They tend to lack any encouraging words and don't ever say anything complimentary. If I could choose one phrase to describe these people it would be not to be rude or anything. But. Changing lanes without using your turn signals people will always blame everyone else for leaving them like all my exes were crazy is probably not true you probably did something to drive them off the edge not being introspective enough to realize you're the root of your problems is probably one in many cases it isn't that the all my exes were crazy types drove their exes over the edge it's that the exes were completely normal and the are just interpret that normal behavior as crazy and then there's the one in a million person that really did end up hooking up with a chain of crazy stalkers <laughs> mocking people for liking unpopular but harmless things <laughs> my first job was in retail and i used to think the worst bottom of the pile people were the kind of ppl who would take a shit load of clothes from hangers and try them on and just leave a heap on the floor in the change room or in grocery stores the people who randomly decide they don't want that raw steak or gallon of ice cream they picked out so they leave it in some random aisle on some random shelf because they're too lazy and selfish to put it back. As someone who worked in a supermarket job for ages, this sort of thing pissed me off no end. People don't understand that there's strict regulation for how you have to store that stuff. Especially if it's frozen or refrigerated. Usually, we had to throw that sort of stuff out which costs money to the company and it means food waste which isn't good for anybody or the environment. Disrespectful of people's personal property in their home. I know someone who had a co-worker house sit for them and the person completely rearranged the house. Needless to say no one likes the co-worker anymore. What the f***? Who in the hell thinks it's okay to do that? My roommate's sister did it to our apartment when she visited from out of state. We both came home from work and she had rearranged nearly all of our furniture, including changing the definition of one of the rooms. My roommate was so embarrassed. Since the nutty sister was leaving the next day, we just looked at each other incredulously and said, Oh, okay and then we put it all back the next day after she left. She was not allowed to visit again.
probably the best way to handle the situation, but putting it all back while she was still there would have been epic. Looking back I can see that that would have been funny and rather appropriate. Actually but at the moment we were both tired and still kind of shocked it was a real twilight zone moment, how do you react when someone does something so weird? I think we were kind of trying to figure out if she was joking or something. We were both living away from home for the first time, working our first real jobs. So neither of us was used to handling things like this. In addition, I think the older sister was between jobs and trying to stay off drugs and booze IIRC so we kind of had to be gentle. Good times. Though. Wow. This looks great. But what if. Just for sh** and giggles. We put it back where it was before. OMG it looks even better. Let's try it with this piece. My god it happened again. What are the chances? Being a d to everyone else then trying to excuse that behavior by saying I'm just brutally honest. The I was only saying defense. It's funny how they never are only saying something nice. It's always a put down. No awareness of their wrongdoings and is non-trustworthy. Seems like a no-brainer. Publicly ridiculing a person. It ruins their self-esteem and makes that person look bad. Constantly telling people you're a good person. I too am extraordinarily humble. I'll be faithful once I put a ring on it. People who proudly state that they are and have no intentions to change for anyone. The world doesn't revolve around you. Quit being a People think that being self-aware completely ameliorates anything they've done wrong. It's one of the most obnoxious things. Yeah I found that kind of thing attractive when I was in middle school. Wore off really fast though when I realized a self-aware is even worse than a regular r being rude because you haven't had your coffee yet or some similar excuse. Be an adult like the rest of us and learn to control your emotions regardless of your caffeine intake. Are there people like that? I've only ever seen people joking about themselves being like that. I've known people that were ah before their first cup of coffee, but then they were ah the rest of the time too. Treating wait staff badly, if they're willing to be rude to someone in public, I can only imagine the kinds of stuff they say in private. A person who is nice to you, but not to the waiter, is not a nice person. Never accepting blame for anything. Yeah exactly, blaming everyone but yourself. Cue jumping, those people cutting others off the line just because they think they should be first to spawns of TBE devil. To add to this. People who drive on the shoulder during traffic because they think they are somehow above sitting in traffic like everyone else. When you mention something from a prior conversation and when they don't remember having the conversation there like I probably wasn't even listening haha <laughs> like just say I don't remember damn. Backstabbing people but appears to be nice and helpful in your face. Hurting animals. Yeah hurting animals is a huge red flag, and it also doesn't stop there. Households with animal abuse are also linked with domestic, child and other forms of abuse. <laughs> Talking shit about mutual friends when they're not around. If they'll do that with your other friends, damn sure they're doing it with you too. And being niece speaking to you on your own but in a group situation showing off and being a d to you. Some people do this to everyone in the group. They act nice in private but throw each person under the bus in the group. It's a d move because they deliberately built the expectation that they'd have your back around others. Then they quickly turn it around and attack some harmless thing you said. As some middle school power move to prove that they aren't beholden to anyone. I always roll my eyes when adults act that way. Taking any kind of criticism or conflicting opinion as a personal attack. No, battering everyone else's opinions into the ground and eventually personally attacking others and questioning their intelligence for disagreeing with you isn't healthy discourse. <laughs> Playing music audibly on public transport when others can hear. See also, FaceTiming without headphones. I agree, with an exception for deaf people using sign language. <laughs> Stealing stuff. Lying to people. Avoiding your responsibilities and sticking someone else with the bill. Some dude who is always drunk in his early 40s worked at my job for a few months and he was telling me and my co-workers how he saw this guy's wallet on the ground who was in line in front of him, and after realizing it was his, he took it, bragged about getting $300 because he's a d and wouldn't return the guy's wallet. Reading this actually makes me sad. 
who knows how much that $300 was worth to that person who it was taken from and what other items were in that wallet that they needed. Not taking personal responsibility for your actions and purposefully withholding important information from someone for your own self-preservation or selfish reasons. My friend told me that the person I was interested in knew my feelings for him, but conveniently left out the part that he felt the same way about me.